Often, utility customers have to work in a hybrid IT environment. There may be spatial and customer databases stored in Oracle or SQL Server, and flat files from GIS systems and CAD environments. Combining this data that already exists can contribute to better decision making and could result in more efficient business processes across departments and job functions. In this example, you could start with a regular drawing of a water network and may want to add different data in order to create a map for a report or a comprehensive map book for field crews. Using open source FDO technology allows for quick and easy access to a number of data formats within a familiar CAD environment. You may want to start by adding some aerial photography as a background to your map. Using the wizard you can navigate to and connect to the folder containing the imagery you want and choose the individual images to add to your map. All these separate images can be combined into one named layer for simplicity in the display manager. We can call it Aerial and add it to the map. When the Add Data dialog closes, you're able to view the aerial photos combined into one layer and in the correct geographic location. A great advantage of using this FDO technology to connect to rasters is that Map3D simply references the data. It doesn't import the images into your DWG file. This means you can access large amounts of raster data without generating enormous DWG files. Other types of data can be added as well. You may have land parcel data held in Esri shapefile format. Instead of getting the GIS department to spend time translating a section of the data for you, simply use open source FDO to connect directly to the same file used by the GIS department. AutoCAD Map3D also understands over 3,000 spatial reference systems, so even though the parcel data is held in a different geographic coordinate system to the base map, the data is transformed on the fly to fit it into the correct geographic space. Other information, such as hydrant data, may be held in Autodesk SDF format. Again, the same wizard-driven process can be used to select and to add the hydrant data to the map. No time lost in translation, no data loss, and no data redundancy. One of the benefits of connecting directly to GIS data instead of importing it into a DWG is that you're able to access the attribute data for that information. If you select a feature on the map, the corresponding feature will be highlighted in the data table and vice versa. Different feature tables can be selected from the drop-down list, allowing you to view all of the attribute tables within one window. Once the data has been brought into the map, it can be styled and managed using the Display Manager. For example, we may want to change parcel colour or represent hydrants using a standard CAD block. Properties such as fill pattern, transparency, fill color and outline color can all be set using the style dialog. Here, land parcels are made almost transparent so that the aerial photography can be viewed beneath them. Point data can be represented by standard AutoCAD blocks, allowing you to keep visual consistency in your maps, whatever data they are created from. Here we can choose a block from a symbol library, Let's choose a valve over here and hit OK. And we can also scale them and change the fill color and edge color to make sure that the blocks are visible in your map. Layers can be turned on and off using the display manager and the order in which they are drawn can be changed. Here the map base layer containing the base CAD data is dragged above the aerial photography layer allowing us to view the base CAD water pipe layers on top of the photos. By allowing engineers direct access to data such as parcel information, aerial photography, and even database information such as customer records, um, it could become easier to eliminate data silos and redundancy, and not having to translate data means there's greater data integrity. With AutoCAD Map 3D, your engineers and designers can directly access a broad variety of spatial data for base map creation without waiting for that data to be converted by the GIS department. You can easily integrate data collected in the field via survey and GPS devices to accurately update drawings, maps and databases. As a result, both CAD and GIS professionals can work together on common data sets. CAD users are enabled to access and edit spatial information in a familiar AutoCAD environment and the need for your GIS team to perform mundane tasks such as data conversion is eliminated. 
The result is improved accuracy and efficiencies during the planning and design phases of projects.